Okay, what about this three times the square root of eight over six times the square root of two minus four? So again, we look at this and we want to rid this denominator of radicals. So we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, right? Numerator and denominator. So six times the square root of two. Instead of this being a minus, it's gonna be a plus and then a four. So terms are the same, sign is different. Six times square root of two plus four. Terms are the same, six times square root of two, six times square root of two, four, four. Sign is different, we got a minus and we got a plus. So if I start in the numerator here, I'm gonna use my distributive property. Basically I'm gonna multiply three times six, that's 18. And then square root of eight times square root of two would be square root of 16. Then plus, now I've got three times square root of eight times four. So three times four is 12, we'll have 12 times the square root of eight. Then this is over. Now down here I can use my special rule. I'm gonna do the first times the first. Six times six is 36. And then square root of two times square root of two is two. So two times 36 is 72. Then I'm gonna do minus, last times last. Four times four is 16. So to simplify in the numerator, I know that the square root of 16 is four, and four times 18 is 72. Then plus, here I have 12 times the square root of eight. Well, the square root of eight is the square root of four times the square root of two. The square root of four is two. So two times 12 would be 24, and then times the square root of two. And then this is over 72 minus 16, which is 56. Okay, so we're not done. And the reason we're not done is because this is not completely simplified. If I look here at 72, 24, and 56, those are all even numbers. So I'm gonna be able to factor something out and cancel it with the denominator. So if I think about 72, and I think about 24, and I think about 56, each has a common factor of eight. Okay, 72 I can write as eight times nine, plus 24 I can write as eight times three, then times square root of two, over 56, which is eight times seven. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna factor an eight out from the numerator. So if I factor that out, it's gonna look like this. I'll have an eight out front, then I'll have a nine plus a three times the square root of two, and this will be over eight times seven. So now you can clearly see that you can cancel this eight here with this eight here, just canceling common factors. And what I'm left with is nine plus three times the square root of two over seven. And now this is your simplified answer because we can't do anything else. Okay, what about four over 12 plus the square root of y? Well, again, to, sit, to rationalize the denominator here, I need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of this guy, and that would be 12 minus the square root of y, okay, over 12 minus the square root of y. And in case you're still struggling with this conjugate thing, again, the first and the first are the same, 12 and 12. The second and the second are the same, square root of y, square root of y. You're just changing the sign, this plus and this minus. So when we do that, in the numerator, we have four times 12, that's 48, then minus four times the square root of y, so four times the square root of y. In the denominator, we use our trick, we're gonna do first times first, 12 times 12 is 144. Then we're gonna do minus, last times last, square root of y times square root of y is y. So what can we do to simplify here? Is there anything we can do? Well, no, there's not. I know some of you will look at it and say, well, these are even, and then this is even, but I have 144 minus y there. So I really can't do anything between the numerator and denominator to cancel any common factors, and I can't simplify any of the radicals anymore. Right? I can't simplify square root of y. So we just have to leave this as 48 minus four times square root of y over 144 minus y. Okay, let's look at this last one. We have square root of 72 over three plus three times the square root of three. So again, I just want to multiply by the conjugate here. And the conjugate, I'm gonna have a three, that stays the same. The sign is different, so minus. Then this stays the same, three times square root of three. 
So then three minus three times square root of three. So in the numerator, I'll have square root of 72 times three. So that's three times square root of 72. Then minus, next I'm gonna have square root of 72 times this three times square root of three. So I have three and then times the square root of, 72 times three is 216. I'm gonna make this easy on myself and just leave it as square root of three times square root of 72 because I know I can simplify that. Then over, we use our trick, the first times the first, three times three is nine. Then minus, the last times the last, three times three is nine, square root of three times square root of three is three, nine times three is 27. So, we wanna simplify now. So if I think about 72, it's 36 times two. 36 is a perfect square. So we can write this as three times, square root of 36 is six, so that's six, then times square root of two. Then minus, we have three times square root of three, and again, square root of 72 is square root of 36, which is six, times square root of two. Over nine minus 27, which is gonna give me negative 18. Okay, we're gonna continue to simplify. So three times six here is 18 times square root of two, then minus, I've got three times six, that's 18, then times square root of six. And this is over negative 18. So we're not done. Although I can't simplify the radicals anymore, what I can do is factor out an 18 in the numerator. So I'll have an 18 out in front, and I'll have square root of two, square root of two, minus square root of six inside over negative 18. I can then cancel this with this, and I'll have a negative one down there. So what I'll have is the square root of two minus the square root of six over negative one, or if I just wanna apply this negative, right, I'll just have minus the square root of two plus the square root of six, and that'll be my final answer.